six ways to increase production in 2024. I'm Jeff Glover with Glover U, and I've got some great coaches here with me today. They've all been asked to share a few items on things that we need to be paying attention to right now, things that are important right now, not things that were important a year ago or six months ago or three, three, three months ago or even three weeks ago. What are we doing to win in a big way right now? now. And so I'm excited to dive in because we're going to be sharing those. And also I've asked them, each of them to share uh, about their programs because we're getting so many inquiries from people this time of year, as we always do uh, from, you know, okay, Hey, here's my challenge. Uh, what program should I sign up for? I've got no idea. Uh, you know, what, what, what solutions I need right now, can you help me out? So we figured we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to give you two to three pieces of, of advice from each of us. And we're going to give you a program that might fit you as your solution, because regardless of your time in the business, regardless of your goal for this year, regardless of, of what you've done so far this January, which hopefully by now uh, you look at, what we've done in January and start reflecting on what we need to do differently in February. Here's what I know, regardless of any of that, all of us need to be plugged into something that's going to help us get better at whatever that something is. Now you're going to know by the end of this webinar, what that something is, because you're going to identify, okay, yep, I'm good in this area. I'm great in that area. I'm good on that, but I definitely need some help in that area. And our goal is to give you a few tips and pieces of advice today, as well as share with you solutions to those challenges that you may be experiencing as we are now one full month into the year. So let's go ahead and jump in again. For those that are not familiar, Jeff Glover with Glover U. And if you did not know, we are a coaching and training organization for agents and brokerage owners all over the U.S. and Canada and team owners as well. We are broker agnostic. You get the chance to come to one of our events as we just finished up one in Phoenix just a couple of weeks ago. We had our first event of over a thousand attendees uh, between in person and online. And of course, um, we shared a lot from the stage over those three and a half days. I know a lot of you guys were probably there. Hopefully you got a lot of value from that. And we're missing it. We can't wait to be back. We're, we're, we're ready to go back to Phoenix or uh, for those of you in the north, somewhere warm so we can continue to learn and mastermind together. So we're going to start us off actually i'm going to have taylor take the lead and taylor i want to know what are two or three things that agents and team owners broker owners um, listing agents buyers agents operations people what are two or three things from the system side of the business that agents need to be focused on and thinking about reinventing right now yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jeff, which, hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you today. So when we talk about systems, you know, I think a lot of people don't really understand what systems means. It's everything that you do to service a transaction. And so when we talk about specifically, okay, how can we improve systems in 2024 to allow us to increase production? I thought of three things that I see agents struggle with most often. Okay, so first, number one, is agents do do stuff with their database, right? You host a client event here, you host a client event there, you send out a mailer here. But what happens is they don't follow a consistent database plan. And what I mean by that is, are you doing something for your database every single month? January, February, March, April, May. I'm sure if I ask many of you, did you do something for your database in the month of January? Unless you're already a Glover U coaching client, your answer might be no because we're acting as more of a reactive business than we are a proactive business. So for number one, I want you to write down, follow a consistent database plan every single month and focus on being proactive versus reactive. So in the Systems of Real Estate course that I teach, we actually walk you through the exact database plan that I use with our agents at Glover Agency. So that way they're staying in front of their database on a consistent monthly basis. And then you don't find yourself in the position, oh my gosh, it's February 1st. I haven't even talked to my database yet in 2024. You're already one step ahead by following that plan. And again, it's the entire 12 months that yeah, we give you. Yeah. Love that. That's step one, Jeff. And then step two is... Um, I want you to write down, you must adjust your drip campaigns 
with online buyer and seller leads in 2024. You must adjust your drip campaigns for online buyer and seller leads in 2024. What do I mean by that? I see it all the time from agents across the country. They're still using the same drip campaigns they used five, six years ago. If yep. any of your drip campaigns or messages that you send out to potential buyer or seller leads still say, are you still looking for a home? It's mm -hmm. dead. It's yep. not getting the results that you want anymore. It's not going to get the responses that we're looking for. You have to be creative in your touch points. I don't know about you guys, but I was recently shopping for a car. And so I was going to different um, car dealerships. And obviously you have to put in your information. I got 17 different messages from every single car dealership locally asking what I'm looking for. And what I notice is the same thing happens when someone's buying or selling a home. They're going to Zillow. They're going to Realtor.com. They're getting exposed to different agents. And so if you have the same drip campaigns as those other five or six agents, you're not going to stand out. And so that's why in that systems course, I actually show you the drip campaigns that we use to help our agents convert online buyer and seller leads at a high level. And I'll tell you, they're not like anything you've ever seen before. We don't use terminology like, are you still looking for a home? Can I show you a property? What cities are you looking in? We don't use any of that anymore because the way that consumers have changed what they respond to over the years, it's different and you have to adapt with it. Otherwise, you'll fall behind. Love that so one. That's number two, Jeff. Very and true. then I would say the third one is you have to create an experience. So write this in your notes. You have to create an experience that the consumers can feel. And so what I mean by that is you have to have 72 touch points for a client when you're working with them. On our team and what I teach is that there's 72 different times that we reach out to a consumer when they're buying or selling a house with us to make sure that they feel comfortable and confident in the process. Again, if we're operating from a reactive business instead of a proactive business, well, then we're waiting for them to call us or, you know, we're only reaching out when they have a question or getting back to them when they have a question. We've actually adapted a process where we can say, listen, this is going to be something different that you can actually feel. And what we've learned throughout the years is when you create that experience, one that's different, that they can feel a difference, that's what causes them to be, um, become repeat clients and refer you at a higher level. And so again, I teach you the exact 72 ways. I mean, Jeff, we created this over the last 10 years that I've been working yep. with you and we constantly change it and evolve it um, yep. every single year. And it's literally, it's 72 times. Yeah. You're going to hear from us and times that we're reaching out and saying, hey, we want to make sure you feel comfortable and confident. And they should never feel like they're one of many customers. They should always feel like they're you. They are your only customer. Yeah. Well, what I love about the tips that you just gave is uh, it's not just customer experience tips. They're, they're production type tips. And I know that a lot of the people that go through your systems of real estate course are not just operations people or executive assistants. Nope. It's real estate salespeople looking to do more business because you're giving them our exact plan, our exact systems, our exact you know scripts, dialogues, obviously everything that you just mentioned there. So if people want to work with you, because of course, one of the reasons why we're hosting this webinar is people want to find out about our group programs. If people want to work with you uh, for 16 weeks straight, what does that look like? Yeah. So I always get asked the question, who is systems of real estate for? And my answer is very simple. If you sell real estate, this class is for you because you have to know from beginning to end and everything in the middle, what to do for a client again, to make them feel a certain way. So the systems of real estate course, it's going to get thrown up on the screen for you. Now it is a 16 week course that I personally teach. It's Tuesdays at 1 PM Eastern standard time. And listen, I give you everything. I've had the pleasure of working alongside Jeff for the last 10 years. I've documented everything we've done. When I started working with him, we were selling a hundred homes a year. Now we sell over a thousand. There's tons that we've learned during that time period about what to do, what not to do. And what's nice is you get to learn from our uh, successes and our challenges and mistakes. And I'll teach you what actually works for running a successful business. And Jeff, during that time period, you know, I think about when we started in the early years, we didn't have any database business. We didn't even have a spreadsheet that we worked off of with past clients and stuff like that. And now it's over 50, 60% of our business every single year. And so that exact plan is given to you in this course. And like I mentioned, it's 16 weeks with me personally.
And that is uh, 16 weeks for, I know it's 45 minutes of instruction, and then you leave 10 minutes at the end for discussion and Q&A. So it's not just a presentation. It's not just you talking. It's a lot. It's interactive. And isn't there homework at the end of each session as well? Yeah. So I obviously have had the opportunity of leading people for you know a decade with you. And I've learned that learning and training is one thing. Implementing is another. And Mm -hmm. so I make it a point that at the end of every class, you have homework that you can implement during that next week before our next class. And then I look at it and I say, oh, tweak this, move this. I would do this a little bit differently. Um, And honestly, you know, the Q&A part, in my opinion, is one of the most impactful because you get to learn the why and the how behind things and you get to find out how it actually looks like for you. And by the way, every single time I teach this class, I change what I'm teaching. There's yeah. something that we've updated in the last year, whether it's the drip campaigns or the database or this worked and that didn't work. We yep. make those changes every single year. So it's brand new every time. Awesome. And if anyone's considering this, uh, looks like they just need to text the word systems to 55444 and that will get them more details and an opportunity for you to work personally with Taylor, uh, the one who created it all behind the scenes for us uh, at, at Glover Agency and in, in, in my personal sales business and also with our team. And anything you want to leave us with, Taylor? No, that's it. Uh, if you focus on those three things, regardless if you take this class or not, if you focus on paying attention to your database plan and what you can do to provide value to people in it, if you focus on what you can do to generate online leads through drip campaigns, and then if you focus on how you're actually making your consumers feel in 2024, just those three tips alone are going to help you increase your business in 2024, regardless if you take this or not. Awesome. Love that. Thank you so much. And if you want to join Taylor, there you have it. Tech Systems to 55444. Again, we're so glad you're here. If you're just joining us, Each one of our coaches are sharing two or three tips that you need to be focused on right now. And also by popular request, because we have so many reach outs this time of year from people saying, hey, I want to hear about your programs. I want to hear about your programs. You guys don't talk about them enough. We decided to put this webinar together so you can get two to three tips and so you can learn about our program. So next up, Greg Erlinger, our marketing master. Greg, what should we be paying attention to as real estate agents and team leaders uh, around North America to, to succeed as it relates to, to marketing? Let's start with two or three things there. So what I, what I love about the Marketing Mastery course um, or marketing in general within real estate and what I hate about it is that it's, so, it's changing all the time. So 2024 looks nothing like 2022. And if you haven't touched your marketing strategy in the last three, four, five years, you'll notice that you are falling into oblivion. You are, are starting to become white noise out in the ether. And as realtors, we are our own marketing departments. And so in 2024, the most innovative and the most forward thing I can tell agents right now to do, number one, you've got to be known for something. You've got to hold on to something with all the brands and all the advertising bombarding us from social media to commercials to um, newspapers. I'm just kidding. Nobody reads those. Um, but you're getting hammered with this information and all these realtors. And it's we're not just competing with uh, realtors. We're dealing in the currency of attention. And we've got to be, people have to make, uh, pay attention to us and we have to be known for something. So number one is be known for something. As a realtor, is there some, in some capacity, are you better known for one thing than another? Meaning when I started uh, condos, I just became the downtown condo guy. And then over time I became a landlord investor. Identify what you can really lean into. Um, I know people that are are known for um, uh, alcohol recovery or divorce uh, attorneys, et cetera. So that's number one, be known for something. Sounds and by like, the way, that that some that something in our business should be. We talked about this at the summit a few weeks ago. Uh, just an example: be known as the guy or gal that. This is just one example: be known as the guy or gal that's good at getting the tough stuff sold. Right? If you have a reputation of getting tough stuff sold, then that means when it comes to handling the easy stuff, it's a no-brainer to hire you. You got to be known for something in your market. I love that, Greg. What else? Um, number two, I want you to, uh, people need to, and th- I'm very passionate about this. In fact, this is probably the number one reason I wanted to uh, focus on marketing as a cat, like a- a- as bring it to realtors to help them understand how powerful marketing can be. What's happening is our industry is being, in my opinion, stolen from underneath us. And it's stolen from underneath us because 
we're allowing all these other aggregators to do our job for us. We are our own marketing department. We need to create marketing funnels for ourselves, not a marketing funnel where you pay $5,000 a month and then you respond to the leads. Granted, that is a strategy. And in Marketing Mastery, we talk about all the different lead sources that can come to you 100%. So you got your Zillows and Realtor.coms and all these different solutions. But can we create our own Zillow, our own marketing funnel? How do we create those? And that's, we do go over that in Marketing Mastery, but to give you an idea, to put one and two together, number one, be known for something, people will reach out to you for information on that something. Then you have to get it into your CRM, from your CRM have a follow-up and, and, and uh, tie it all together so that you're not paying either 50% or 25% to other um, aggregators or, or paying a monthly fee. And that's gonna increase your profit. It's so much easier to just write a check to Zillow and say, do my job for me. But in Marketing Mastery, what I'm passionate about helping realtors understand is they can do it themselves, right? I, pa I closed, for, I run a team, I passed out over a uh, hundred million dollars worth of closed team leads last year. So we did 380 million, of which a third of that was leads that came in through marketing funnels. What was so, that number? A hundred million. hundred million? hundred million of 380 million. So over 25% of your business was from the stuff you teach in Marketing Mastery. Correct. Yep. And, and marketing funnels can come in a lot of different forms. They can come from hyper-local niche websites. They can come from uh, becoming, and this is number three, creating fanatics with your brand. So not only being known for something, you move to the next level where you create marketing funnels, and then those people use your services and become fanatics. They yeah. then refer business back to you right? Or uh, they see you online and you're brand aware. They know that you exist. Remember, if you're not known for something, you're not known at all. Nobody knows you exist. They don't know you're a realtor. They don't know how to access your, they don't know how to connect to you through, um, through, through uh, you know, social. I ask, one of the number one questions I ask my coaching clients, my number one uh, question is, um, are all your leads coming through your cell phone, right? Is it just text coming through your cell phone? Do you know who those folks are? If they have your number in their phone, they're a first tier lead, meaning they're in your sphere of influence directly, but they're not second or third tier. That friend from high school that doesn't have your cell phone number, how are they getting a hold of you? Is it DMs? If you're not getting a ton of uh, uh, leads through your direct messenger, through Facebook, through Instagram, through YouTube, you have so much of an opportunity, not only to, serve, not only to uh, thrive, in marketing and real estate today, but to survive. Because it is my true opinion, if realtors don't start creating their own personal marketing funnels, not beholden to a brokerage or to a third-party aggregator, they will be out of the business in the very near future. Because when AI starts to do the aggregation for us on top of that, you know, if you're not competing to survive and thrive, you're gonna be left behind. And that's what we teach in Marketing Mastery. Everything from the very basic to be known, all the way up to how we can use AI to dominate our market. Well, I know, obviously, uh, you and I sat down and we spent a lot of time together writing the original version of Marketing Mastery and every single session it has evolved. Um, but it's a lot more than than just the funnels and the AI. I mean, it's, it's how to create a brand, what consumers want today as it relates to your brand. Uh, one of the sessions that we're adding for your next program is how to be enter how to be an entertaining person. If you think about it, the people that get the most clicks, the most like, the most engagement are the people that are entertaining. So we could all probably be a little bit more entertaining. So how do we be more entertaining? We actually have a session on that. Uh, that that will be covering a marketing mastery. So Greg, if people want to work with you and take their marketing to the next level, since that's what you specialize in, what does that look like? How do I get to spend 16 weeks with you? Well, first they all have to get Xbox systems and start to join and play Fortnite with me and my son. And then from there, they would, um, no, uh, 16 weeks, it's every Tuesday. It's uh, from two to three, every Tuesday, it starts February 6th. And what I love about Marketing Mastery is not only the, the, the combination of information that both Jeff and I uh, have put together from listing presentations, we share with you our listing presentations. Again, I'm the number one realtor in the state of Ohio, Jeff, number one in Michigan. Both listing presentations are in front of you. We go through how to define arguments that you can win. Um, yeah. Everything from that all the way through to uh, uh, drip campaigns, agent to agent, referrals is huge. Just a huge opportunity. It all oh, starts with February 6th. It's, it's like a marketing suite, if you will. It's not It's not just the social media side of it. It's everything from the listing side of it, the buyer side of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's everything. 
please understand that yes um the if you don't have a youtube channel if you don't have any of that this class is for you also if you have sixty thousand subscribers already your youtube channel i promise you this class is still for you because we go from understanding the core competencies of your business um you know why are you unique what's your brand all the way to the very end of creating fanatics how do we create that swag get people wearing our brand um, just excited about it. I mean, there's Glover lovers out there and that's a perfect example. So we take what Jeff and myself and, and other, um, we've studied the top influencers on social media and we take that knowledge and we bring it to the real estate community so you, you can take advantage of what influencers, both micro and macro, and how does that relate and correlate to getting our own business, increasing our uh, PNL because we're driving traffic through marketing funnels directly to ourselves. It'll set you up for the future. And yep. I honestly don't know how people are going to, realtors are gonna survive and thrive into the future if, without um, engaging this course. And, and, and updating their marketing. I mean, even, even at Listing Mastery, Greg, we teach about if you're still going on listing presentations with the same material you used three years ago, you're gonna get left behind. So if they wanna work with you, it's $3.99 a month for four months. They can text the word marketing. You see there on your screen, marketing to 55444. You'll get all the details of Greg's program. It starts next week, guys. If you're ready for the next level as it relates to your marketing for more buyers and sellers, this is the one, perhaps maybe the one for you. All right. Thanks so much, Greg. All right. I'm going to go next. I'm the half. Kathy Schweitzer, who is is on a plane to handle some, some personal um, situation. So I'm going to take the, the floor on behalf of Kathy. And I know Kathy's going to watch this later. So I got to make sure I do my best here on her behalf. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Kathy, Kathy was actually my first mentor uh, and, as she hired me to run a brokerage for her. And um, it's amazing how life is full circle because she is back now with us, uh, helping us lead our brokerages. And she is working with some of our top coaching clients around the country, helping them lead their teams. Uh, she's working with my leaders in, in our organizations, helping them run brokerages, which by the way, we've got 700 agents in our brokerages. So um, as it relates to uh, recruiting, training, developing, coaching, uh, all of that, you know, running successful sales meetings, she's the go-to for that. And um, I, I put together a couple thoughts as I've asked all of our coaches to do on if I, for my team leaders, my team owners, or those leading teams or wishing to lead teams out there, what are some things that you should be focusing on right now? And the first thing I wrote down is you need to focus on building your brand as a developer of people. If you want to attract and retain more agents to your business, your network, your downline, your revenue share, your team, your brokerage, if you want to attract more agents to your business, the number one thing you can do is build your brand, as Greg would say, become known as the person in your market who is known as the developer of people. Find that niche and own it. Without question, that's number one. Number two, if I'm building a team, building a network, building a brokerage, building a revenue share, building profit share, whatever, whatever you're building today, if I want to grow faster, I need to understand, number two, understand the needs of today's real estate agent since they have changed. Understand the needs of today's real estate agent since they have changed. The original needs of real estate agents used to be leads. Give me leads. Give me leads. I want leads. All right. And then it was split. Give me more money. Give me more money. Give me more money. Give me more money. Now, the number one thing we're hearing from agents that are leaving teams and brokerages to join other teams and brokerages, give me more time. I want more time. Give me more time back. What can you take off my plate? How can you help me with my database? How can joining your team give me more time back with my family? So when you think of the number two tip here, my question for my team owners, my brokerage owners, or for those of you leading teams or responsible for recruiting is how much of your marketing promotes all the time save for your agents? How much of your marketing is promoting all of the stuff that you're taking off of your agent's plates? The third thing, and this goes with number one and two, in my opinion, is promotion around your value proposition. All right, there's the old saying, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, does it make a sound? Honestly, we don't know. 
I mean, we know, but you know what I'm saying? We don't know. That's why that silly, stupid analogy or whatever you want to call it. But think about it for a second. What I'm trying to tell you is you can have the best value proposition since sliced bread. You could check all the boxes, Jeff. I help agents build their brand, which is another one of the things you should be helping your agents do. I help take stuff off their plate. I do this. I do that. I do this. I do that. Okay, good. How many people know that? What do you mean? Number three is, write this down. My value proposition for real estate agents is only as good at the rate at which I promote it. My value proposition for real estate agents is only as good at the rate at which I promote it. You can have the best value proposition in the world. If no one knows about it, what's it doing for you? It's helping the handful of people that are with you. And if, you're, if your goal is to not grow, well, then you're fine. You, you, you don't need this. But if your goal is to grow, to recruit, attract, retain, and help produce, I got to know what your value proposition is. And so those are the three things. If I'm leading a team, leading a brokerage, of course, the fact that I'm in this space with you leading a team and leading a brokerage, of course, Taylor uh, leads our team today. And we've got team leaders that lead our brokerages. And of course, Kathy is the leader of these leaders. Kathy is the leader of Taylor as it relates to leading our team. Kathy is the leader of our team leader as it relates to leading our brokerages. And if you want to spend 16 weeks with her, like I got the opportunity to spend 16 weeks plus some, then I would suggest you join her for her course, which is team building, salesperson to CEO, the foundation to build your team or brokerage. Now, I know there's a handful of you on here saying, I already have a team. I don't need to build a team. No, 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 no. Think of this as reinventing your team. Think of this as maybe even starting over. And that's okay. You're going to build it the right way. Kathy and I, when we decided to get into business together again, just over a year ago, we rewrote this entire program. In fact, the two of us taught it side by side. Kathy is in the trenches with our leaders. So she knows exactly what we're doing at the Glover Agency. She knows exactly what we're doing at our brokerages to attract agents. You know, most brokerages shrank last year. We grew. We added 15% agent count to our brokerages. Our agent count within our team increased. Well, most brokerages took a step back given the market. So if you want to spend 16 weeks with Kathy, my personal mentor, and now the, the leader of our leaders, and of course the CEO of Glover U, you have the opportunity to do so for $3.99 a month. She can be your mentor too. It's 16 weeks, 45 minutes live Zoom with 10 minutes interaction at the end. If you're interested in recruiting, training, developing, learning how to become a better coach, learning how to be a developer of people, learning how to uh, create a mission, vision, values, and more importantly, how to promote all that, this is might be the one for you. If you're interested, learning more, text CEO to 55444. Again, that's CEO to 55444 if you're ready to jump into leadership or if you're a leader who's ready to take their team or brokerage to the next level. I promise you, Kathy will not let you down just as she has not let me down, all right? Okay, next up we have Nick Belmore. Nick, tell us what we need to be doing and thinking about as it relates to working with more buyers in this new market. Take it away. That's a great question. So Jeff, obviously things are changing just the same for buyers, right? It's not the same as it was six months ago 12 months ago, and even 24 months ago. And this is the third time that we've actually rewritten through Buyer Mastery to update it and keep up with what's happening in our market now. So one of the things for, for our agents that are out there working with buyers that we have to take a look at is we've got to know our numbers, right? We want to be their expert. And how do we make sure that we are being their expert in the neighborhoods they're searching, in the market we're working, if we are not rock solid on the important numbers that are happening and that are relevant in that market. So I'm not gonna get into every single one just because of time constraint, but I'm gonna talk about the top three things that we need to know when it comes to our numbers as a buyer's agent. And the first one that's really gonna be important for these buyer's agents to understand is inventory levels. How much inventory is in the area that you're buyer shopping? Because it's really going to help them have a firm understanding when it comes to supply and demand. 
And of course, when they have a great understanding of what's happening locally with supply and demand, it helps to guide their offers into making sure that we're writing and winning offers right out of the gate. We don't want to wait till we're nine offers in before we finally get something together. We want to be able to write those strong offers and supplying data to help our buyers make decisions is a big, important piece of that. Second piece that we have to really start to pay attention to when it comes to our numbers we want to understand the average days on market. Again, when it comes to negotiation, if we know the average days on market is 16 in a neighborhood and this house has been on for 45, it's going to be very relevant information on what we can do when it comes to making an offer. And if we know that homes are on average lasting 16, 17 days, and this home has only been on the market for a few days, we know that we might have to come in with a stronger offer in order to go ahead and secure that. So those two are definitely important ones, not just in interpreting the market, but also getting the direction of a strong negotiation and winning the house that's important to our buyers at you know a value that they, they are happy with as we go forward. Uh, last but not least, this is another important one. And you notice a lot of these come into just informing understanding our list to sale ratios locally, whether it is in the county, whether it is in the city, and of course, more, most important, if we're pulling up that data for the neighborhood they're shopping and that they're about to make an offer on, it's going to put us in a really strong position. One of the things that a lot of buyers are surprised to find out is that in certain neighborhoods, list to sale ratio is 103, 104% of list price. Now, again, if we're seeing it in the 90s, that's going to help to at least inform what offers are getting accepted or have been recently accepted in that neighborhood from those sellers at that stage. So knowing our numbers is a really important one, and it's definitely something that I think buyer's agents need to be focused on more than ever to give value. Well, not only that, but it backs up what you have to say. I mean, I love especially that last one when you go to tell a buyer that they're going to have to offer just slightly over the asking price, and then you can show them the last three sales in the neighborhood, instead of making your claim, Hey guys, you know, the market in this price point is still hot. You know, you're going to have to go over asking because you know, half the time they're not going to take your word for it. And yeah. you've probably dealt with that. Now you can say, and let me show you what I mean by that. Take a look at this house on the next street over. It just closed 45 days ago and they had to pay 4% over the ask price. Take a look at this one. They paid 6%. Yes. So now you have actual data to back up your claim instead of just saying, oh, yeah, you're going to have to pay over asking. No, no, no. You can actually figure out what I love about this, Nick, is you could figure out approximately how much you're going to have to offer in order to get your offer accepted. It kind of gives you a secret weapon against the competition because the competition is just guessing. What should we go? Six over, 10 over, 11 over, 20 over? No, you have data that shows exactly how much over or under you have to go in order to get their offer accepted. Right. Our goal is to remove the opinion and insert the facts, and it's going to help lead them to the outcome they want. So I love that. Second piece as we go forward, and this is more important than ever, because I, I want to reference back 18 months or so ago, it wasn't as important to have skills. But today, there are less buyers qualified. There's not as much of a battle for every single house out there as we were seeing before. And so, of course, it's really much more important than it was in the past to have a strong skill level to bring value to your buyers today. I talk to new buyers agents all the time and I ask, what are you doing to build your skills? And they look at me, what, what do you mean? I mean, I'm out talking to people. That's great. But when we're talking to people, we want to be able to bring them the most value. So skills is a big piece of that. And there's going to be no surprise to anybody here who knows me that I believe role play is one of the best ways to increase those skills. It's not just for listing agents. Buyer's agents, it's just as important to be out there role playing these different scenarios that happen to us. Number one, we want to be focused on role playing lead conversion so that we're making sure that we are converting over, showing our values, and we have a full pipeline going forward. Yeah. We wanna be strong on our scripts because we can't wing it out there and really give the best value to the people that are shopping. We need to know the process, the path, and lead them in the best direction to get to their goals. That's a big important one. 
And I'll tell you another one when we start to get into skills, Jeff, and you spent a lot of time on this recently uh, online, is really building the skills for social media. How are we communicating with our audience? How are we communicating with frequency? So many of those important pieces, while we don't go as in depth as Marketing Mastery does, we do spend some time in the class talking about how do we communicate and how do we create great video that reaches our target audience? That's great, love that. So skills is a big one and I definitely wanna emphasize that. Yep. Uh, last but not least, and of course this so ties into what you just talked about when it comes to team building. Because it's the same thing for agents here. Number three is value prop. Mm. It's really important for us when we have an elevated level of competition, more people vying for the buyers that are out there. Why? Because the pool is a little bit smaller than it used to be. So the more people that are vying for those buyers, the more important it is for us to be able to illustrate our value and show them why we're the best choice as they go through this process. Knowledge of what's going on in the inventory is a big piece of where we can look in value prop. Now, obviously, it ties into what I just talked about. Skills can be a big piece of our value prop. But every single person out there watching this right now does have an individual and a unique value prop. They bring something special to the table. They bring something different to the table. And being able to identify what it is that helps you really connect them with the right home and being able to convey it is super important as we go forward in this market in 24. Yeah, love that. All right, Nick, uh, you shared with us some great tips and things we need to consider as it relates to winning with buyers. If I want to spend 16 weeks absolutely doubling down on my buyer business and becoming the best buyers focused agent in the land, or if I'm leading a team and I have a team of buyers agents and I want to help them with their conversion and I want to help them with their close ratio, tell us about your program. All right. So first off, get ready to have fun because it's an interactive program. We're going to be diving into it together and we're going to go through all of the aspects that it takes to run a successful, efficient buyer business. Now, we're going to look at a bunch of different things all the way from the basics of scripts into our sources of lead generation. We're going to talk about social media. We dive into video creation and how that ties in together, who our audience is, that whole piece of it as well. And we get into the hard fundamentals of the process, like diving deep into the buyer consultation, getting into qualification and why that's important, all the way through into the offer consultation, because we want to be able to put them in the best position, just like we talked about with these few stats. We've got a lot more that goes into there to mm -hmm. help them make the decision to make the strongest offer they can yep. and win the home that they really fall in love with as they go through the process. So that's another piece of it. But we know that once we get a contract together, that's not the end of the buyer process. So we look at the communication that goes through as we have the sale together. We also look at how we service and stay in touch with the buyer after the sale. And thanks to Taylor too, we talk about five-star reviews and what they mean to your business and why it's important for buyer's agents out there to make sure that they are getting those five-star reviews and letting other people know, hey, these buyers had a great experience with us and you can have that too. So yeah. if you are looking for a complete system, and, and I will say this for team leaders, without a doubt, if you are not working a lot of buyers, but you are sinking a lot of investment into generating buyers for your agents, you want to know that they're using the best process possible to yeah. convert those leads. And quite honestly, we all want to know that that's what you're going to walk away with, with from this class as well. All right. So to work with Nick, it's $3.99 a month for four months. It's 45 minutes of live instruction each week for 16 weeks. And of course, Nick always leaves time at the end for Q&A. It's a very interactive and engaging uh, coaching program. And if you or your agents are looking to improve their buyer business, not just uh, sell more buyer homes, but maybe get more time back through improving your processes as it relates to working with buyers. I know Nick goes into the showing agent model and some other ways to leverage some of the process. We recommend you text the word buyer to 55444 if you're curious to learn more and interested in spending the next 16 weeks with Nick as your coach. Again, text the word buyer to 55444 to learn more. All right, we got two 
remaining. We're going to talk prospecting tips and we've got listing tips. So we're going to we're going to get to those in just a second. But before we do, I'm going to pass it over to Justin Ford, the leader of our prospecting boot camp since day one, the original uh, inside sales manager within our team that, of course, prospects himself and also teaches others how to do so. What do we need to be paying attention to? Uh, Justin, as it relates to prospecting for buyers and sellers today. Yep. Thanks, Jeff. You know, one of the things I think, you know, agents have a min misconception around is the word prospecting. You know, when we think of prospecting, we think of just cold calling or picking up the phone and, you know, being rejected when really the definition of prospecting is that it's the first step in the sales process. And the purpose of prospecting is to have conversations with buyers and sellers in hopes of turning them into, you know, future customers or clients. That is the definition of prospecting. And so, Believe it or not, every one of you that are watching this webinar right now, prospect. You may not call it prospecting, but at the end of the day, that's what it is. One of the things that we find, though, is a lot of agents struggle with hitting the numbers that they ultimately want to hit or making the amount of money that they want to make. And what I always say is if, if you fall in that category, maybe you fell short of your 2023 goals. Maybe you took a hit on your income like many agents did, but it, you want 2024 to be different. You want to sell more homes. You want to make more money. You want to take more listings. The answer is simple. Here it is. And I want you to write this down. You just need to have more conversations with people. That's it. Everything starts with a conversation, whether it's in marketing mastery, whether it's in buyer mastery, whether it's in you know social media or any aspect of how you build your business, it all starts with a conversation. And so in the prospecting boot camp, you know, we really talk about that. And so I want to give you three tips right now that you can take away today that can help you generate more business in 2024. So number one is you have to pick a source that you're going to focus on in 2024. There are so many different sources of prospecting, expireds for sale by owners, right? Just listed, just sold. You can circle prospect. You can, you know, door knock. You can focus on social media. You have to pick a source like Taylor talked about database. What source are you going to focus on in 2024 where you can really hone in and really drive that thing forward? Number two, is you have to make a daily commitment to spend two to three hours of having conversations with people. Like Jeff said, right before this webinar, I was a minute late. Jeff's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm finishing setting a listing appointment because on the first of every month, we call it ultimate prospecting day. Today, there was over 170 expireds and for sale by owners here in our local market in Detroit. And I set three listing appointments in three hours. Yep. You know, one was 850,000. Another one was over 250,000. And one was a builder who has like seven properties that he wants to list. Why? Because I picked up the phone and I had conversations. Mm -hmm. And so when you commit to two to three hours per day of prospecting, you're going to naturally set more appointments, even if you're not good at it, because the law of averages says the more people you talk to, the more appointments you'll set. The more appointments you set, the more appointments you'll go on. The more appointments you go on, the more contracts that you'll sign. And so if in 2024, you want to sell more homes, make more money and help more people, you have to commit to having more conversations, not just once in a while, not when you feel like it. You have to pencil it into your calendar and commit to two to three hours every single day of having conversations because what's more important than having conversations with people. What's more important than getting people into your pipeline? There's nothing more important. And Jeff, that's something that you taught me when I was working with you 10 years ago, yep. was it has to be the most important appointment on your daily calendar. Bingo. And you know what I love about what you just said there is, yes, today is the first. Uh, as you guys know, if you join Justin and I for our prospecting live session uh, down in Anaheim this year, as we do each and every year on January 1st, it, it is it is just a conversation. And, you know, a day like today, if you haven't already pulled up the expires in your market, you know, get after them. But Justin and I are in the same market. So we you know, I've got a team of ISAs that are licensed local agents on the ground right now that are that are prospecting. And, you know, Justin doesn't know this. I'm always looking for the advantage and the edge over him. And so, and Justin, in case you're wondering why I picked this day and time for this webinar, it's so we could get a one hour advantage on you, buddy. I'm kidding. <laughs> What's number three, Justin? Uh, number three is, is this, okay? 
if, if it was easy to prospect, we'd all be doing it every day. If it was easy, you know, to 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 pick up the phone or go door knock or or any of these things, we'd be doing it. And so number three is I want you to write down and identify what are your limiting beliefs around prospecting because prospecting is not just following the scripts. Prospecting is not just putting it into your calendar and picking a source. Prospecting is identifying what's standing in between where you are right now and ultimately where you want to go. And we call those limiting beliefs and we all have them, right? The number one limiting belief around prospecting and having conversations with people is the fear of rejection. And the fear of rejection is something that most agents struggle with and I would encourage you to ask yourself this question, what are you really afraid of? What, 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 is, what is so big about being rejected or being told no? I'll tell you this, the, the fear of it is, is worse than the actuality of somebody telling you no. And countless amount of people who have gone through the prospecting boot camp, which is almost a thousand now, have all said the same thing once they start prospecting is, oh, wow, this this isn't as bad as I thought. Because not every conversation is an F you or a go to hell or you're the scum of the earth or go go get a real job because you will hear that sometimes. And that's about as bad as it gets. Yeah. But the reality is, like Jeff said, we're just having conversations with people. And if you come from a place of contribution and of, of value and you put the focus on the prospect and not yourself, you actually show up different because when you focus on your fear and you focus on your limiting beliefs, it's actually selfish when really there's a handful of people in every community out there that needs you. If you believe you're a great agent or you desire to be one, those expireds and for sale by owners and those people in your community, they need a great agent. So go be that great agent. And that's definitely something that you can work through when you discover what your limiting beliefs are. So Justin, obviously uh, you've been doing this your entire career since day one, you started with us and you went on your own and you're still prospecting every single day, which is what I love so much about this group. You're all in the trenches yeah. and are winning at a big level in your area of expertise. And so Justin, your area of expertise has always been prospecting. And so, you know, obviously I saw what you were able to accomplish in your first year on the phones, over 100 transactions just through prospecting and having conversations so much so that I believed in your, your ability to lead our inside sales associates they got into the business. And of course, now you're leading our prospecting boot camp. And as you mentioned, close to a thousand agents and teams have gone through this program. There's leaders around US and Canada that are hiring uh, you and the prospecting boot camp program to teach their agents right out of the gate. So if yeah. they want to spend 16 weeks with you, what does that look like? Yep. And so if, if, if right now you're the agent or the team leader, or you have an ISA and you're saying, listen, we want more appointments. We want more at bats. We want more listings this year. Then the prospecting boot camp is for you. You could be an agent who's never prospected a day in your life, or you could be someone who's already doing it or maybe seasoned. And you just want that, uh, that next level to be able to do it. Then spend 16 weeks with me. And I'm going to take you through the entire process of prospecting the same process Jeff taught me 10 years ago to sell a hundred homes my first year in the business. I'm going to teach you that exact same process. And it's not just, again, expireds and for sale by owners. We're going to talk about the mindset, right? That's one of the very first things that we do is identify what are your limiting beliefs? What are your obstacles? And what do we need to do to help you get over the hump to be able to have more conversations? Because this is what I know. And I've seen it with countless amount of people who have gone through this class. When you can identify those limiting beliefs and overcome them, you become unstoppable. And having conversations doesn't become scary or a burden. It actually becomes exciting. And it becomes that like that, that pump that you can keep on priming every single day to create new opportunities. We're going to talk about mindset. We're going to talk about just listed, just sold. We're going to talk about hybrid farming. We're going to talk about how to prospect your existing database and turn your database into more opportunities. We're going to talk about how to leverage social media to create buyer and seller opportunities. We're going to talk about the four personality styles. Everybody has one of four dominating personality styles. Once you identify your personality style and you learn the other three, we're going to teach you how to have 
four different conversations because when you learn how to speak the language and be able to relate with somebody based on their language and how they show up and you show up that way, your conversion ratio, if you do nothing else different, is going to go up. And then one of the classes that I absolutely love that I think is worth the entire value of the class is how would you like to know the 25 different sources of business that Jeff and his team use to sell a thousand homes a year? That's an entire class where we give you all 25 sources and we're going to do homework, we're going to role play, and we're going to teach you everything that you know uh, need to know in order to sell more homes. And I want to give you three examples. Andrew Pepper down in Florida, never prospected before he joined Prospecting Bootcamp. He took 18 listings in the four weeks. Eric Lewandowski, he took a $1.5 million expired listing three weeks into the class, took another 1.2, and his business has exploded. And then Miguel up in Canada, for those of you guys that can't call in Canada, Miguel Dornox, he took his business up $3 million in production, and it literally took him to the next level, and he just got awarded to be on the ALC at his office. And so these are real-life examples, and if you want to be the next real-life example, join my class, and I can't wait to help you. Awesome. So if you have questions about Justin's class and it's been 16 weeks with Justin, text the word prospecting. You see it right there on your screen to 55444. That's prospecting to 55444. Now I know there's been a lot of questions of the chat. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. The good news is we will have someone, if you text any one of these codes, we will have someone reach out to you and they, they're all, it's coaching consultant with Glover U. They're all trained on, they know what questions to ask to guide you in the right direction. Cause you might say, well, gosh, I want to, I want to sign up for all of them. Uh, and we're actually not going to let you do that. We only actually let you sign up for, for two at a time because most of you uh, and most of us, including me can only handle a couple courses at a time to really dive in deep. So uh, if you want to join Justin's, you got the, the stuff there in the chat, take advantage of that. And thank you, Justin. Okay. Last but not least um, listing mastery. So I wrote down, Two or three things I want to share with you as it relates to helping you can take and convert more listings this coming year. The first thing that I want you to write down is the following. Update my listing presentation. Update my listing presentation to include the specifics. Update my listing presentation to include the specifics of what I do to promote homes and myself on social media. Update my listing presentation to include the specifics of what I do to promote homes and market myself on social media. Most of you today, when you go out on listing appointments, you bring up social media. And you might even be thinking, well, Jeff, come on. Hello, it's 2024. Of course, I'm talking about social media. Do your materials, does your pre-listing package, everything that you send out in advance, everything you, you present at the kitchen table, does it address the question? I know you do social media, Jeff, but what specifically are you going to do on social media? Today's consumer, they demand that. Watch, the largest demographics of home sellers today are between 35 and 54 years old. The largest demographic of home sellers today, 35 to 54 year olds. Well, guess what? The front half of that demographic, especially 35 to 45 year olds, absolutely know what's going on on TikTok. They absolutely know the trends on Instagram. They absolutely know what a story and what a reel is because they're watching them all day long. So when you go on a listing appointment and you say, oh yeah, 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 I got you. I got you covered on social media. And we also do open houses. And let me tell you about this beautiful brochure we're gonna create for you. If you're just spending a few minutes on social media and your listing presentation, you're going to get left behind, especially when it's a savvy consumer you're meeting with. I'll tell you what, and I go on listing appointments every single day. You guys know this. I'm in the trenches with you. I'm still taking between six to 10 listings per month personally. So I know exactly what consumers are asking. I know exactly what they're saying. And you know, the number one question I get today, even from the older clientele, even from those that are older than the 35 to 54 year olds. Well, my daughter told me to ask about what you do on Instagram. My daughter, my son told me to, right? So they're even looking for the specifics. If your material doesn't address that question. You're going to get left behind, especially when it's a savvy consumer. And forget the consumers between 25 and 35. I mean, that better be like half your presentation. 
I mean, if you're going out on an appointment uh, and not and and you've got printed materials because we absolutely do promote printed materials. But a 25 to 35 year old, you better be taking out your cell phone and saying, let me share with you what here's a listing we just took. Let me pull up my Instagram. Let me go to the grid. Let me show you a video that we just created and how we promoted that through all of our social media channels. If you're not doing that on listing appointments, I promise you, if you're going up against me, you're going to lose because consumers want that today. They're savvy. That's number one. So Justin, take note. I'm kidding. All right. Number two, number two, under listing tips, number two, make sure, make sure my pricing presentation, make sure my pricing presentation is included as part of my pre-list package. Make sure my pricing presentation is included as part of my pre-list package. In 2021 and 2022, you didn't need to talk price. I mean, honestly, you guys know, well, what price do you wanna list it for? All right, let's see what, let's see what happens. Who knows? We're gonna get multiple offers anyways, it doesn't matter. Today, Consumers are deciding on who they're going to hire based on how well you present and articulate their home's value. So if I can make sure my pricing presentation is in their hands before I get there, I've got a greater chance of not only getting them to say, you know what, this guy knows our market. This guy knows our neighborhood. All I did was send cops in advance. But they see that I'm doing my homework in advance and they're more, they're, they're more excited about working with an agent that knows their neighborhood. And more importantly for me, it's helping me get a listing at a better price. So include the pricing presentation as part of your pre-list package is number two. Number three, make sure from the time the appointment is set to the time you show up to their door, you're including five touches from the time the appointment is set to the time you get to their door, I want five touches. Well, wait a minute, Jeff. I just talked to them Tuesday night. I'm meeting with them Thursday afternoon. How do I? Five touches. Text, call, email, letter, thank you note. I don't care what it is. I want you to touch that client five times before you show up. Why? Because consumers today are making decisions faster than they ever have before. Think about this for a second. Ten years ago, here's how you got a listing. We're interviewing three or four agents. Come on out. We'll hear what you have to say. And then what do they do? They, you know, they talk to their neighbors. They have a discussion after you leave their house. And then they pick their favorite. Today, you have to understand their decision is largely made before you even get there. They're making their decision based on what they see on social media, what they see online, the touches that you have prior to showing up. In essence, I honestly believe this. And we teach this in Listing Mastery. 50% of your listing appointment happens before you show up. 50% of your listing appointment happens before you get there. The other 50% is just confirmation. I knew we were going to like this guy. I didn't have a great feeling about him. I don't know. I knew we were going to like this girl. I didn't have a great feeling about her, and she really confirmed it. 50% of it happens before you get there. So how do I help my conversion? How do I help create the stickiness of the appointment? Five touches before I get there. All right. Now, if you want to spend 16 weeks going deeper on these three things, or quite frankly, everything from start to finish, I'm going to share with you our last program, your last opportunity to spend 16 weeks getting better with sellers specifically. It is our original group coaching program, same price as all the others. And you're spending 16 weeks from start to finish. Everything from the lead generation, the lead follow-up, the pre-qualifying, the pre-listing package, the listing package, the post listing package, the pricing, the objection handling. Basically, if you were to ask the question, Jeff, how do I become a stronger listing agent? This is the answer from start to finish. If you want to spend 16 weeks getting better with sellers specifically, this is listing mastery. It's $3.99 a month. We're going to spend 16 weeks together. If you're interested in doing so, you can text the word listing to 55444. I am the coach of that one. So it's 45 minutes live instruction from me. 
You've got 10 minutes at the end for us to have some dialogue and for us to ask some questions, just like the other programs. There's other Q&A that takes place as well. Um, um, or I'm sorry, there's homework that takes place as well. The goal of this is to put you into, into, in a position to be the number one listing agent in your market. And you're learning from the number one listing agent in his market, 10, 10 out of the 11 last years. And so if you want to join me, there's the information. And here's the deal. Today, you heard from a lot of great coaches of what I would argue are our best coaches. That's why they're running group programs or they have a, a niche in a particular field and, and they know their stuff. They, they, they know their niche. And so regardless of where you're at in your career, whether you're a solo producer, you're an agent on a team, or you're leading a team, I promise you there's going to be something in one of these six programs that we shared today that's going to help you not just do a little better, but it's going to put you in a position to win in 2024. And that's not just some sales pitch. If you get the chance to come to our events, and for those of you that were at our last event, you heard people on stage say, well, I started off in Buyer Business Accelerator, and then I took... Uh, prospecting boot camp, and then I took listing mastery, and then I took marketing mastery, and I've taken them all now. And oh, by the way, during that process, I went from closing 16 units before I met you guys to now I'm over 50 a year. I mean, we don't have hundreds. We now have thousands of success stories of agents that have been through all of these programs that are succeeding at a high level. If you don't know where to start, if you texted one of those keywords, you're going to hear from our co coaching consultant team, and they're going to ask you a set of questions, and they're going to help you make that decision. Some of you are going to want to sign up for all of them, and as you heard me say, don't do that. At, a, at the most, I'd recommend is, is two, all right? If you're absolutely, but Jeff, I'm a phenomenal student. I, I get it. I, I, I've got the time right now. Maybe you could handle three, but our recommendation is always max of two. So there's probably two here that are for you. We're here to help you. If you don't know anything about us, I recommend you check out our reviews, hear what people have had to say about their experience in working with us and in coaching with us. And we look forward to seeing you in one of these group programs. I promise you, we will not let you down. You are in very good hands with any one of these coaches, including Kathy, who, as you know, is not with us today. And we can't wait to watch you win in 2024. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hopefully that answered your questions of what program uh, should I sign up for? And you got some advice as well. We shared a lot of great stuff. If you want, we are going to be sending out the recording. If you want to go back and rewatch this, feel free to share it with whoever you think it'll help. And until next time, great seeing you guys. And let's kick some butt this February. See you guys later.